So for your first solve, uh, you did your V like this. And that's what I would have done too, except uh, for the tips. Instead, what I would do is I would pick it up and then do the L tip like this, and then the R and U tips at the same time, and then this, and then the V solution. So then going on with what you did, you uh, had a flipped edge L4E case. So what you did was you took the edge out like this, and then you did L4E like this. So you put this edge like that, and then put this in. So that intuitive L4E solution is fine, but instead, uh, you should learn the flipped edge advanced L4Es because they're really easy. So just for this case, um, instead what you would do is, you see the headlights, you would put them on the right, and this block on the left, and then you would do R, U prime, R prime, L prime, uh, U prime, L. And then for these last tips, uh, I think you should have done the B tip like this, and at the same time the B and U tips. But you did the them like this. So yeah, I think you should work on doing the tips while doing your V instead of saving them all for the end. So for the second solve, you did your V like this. Move this tip up and then put this block here. Then put the center in and insert this edge like this. So I think that solution was uh, pretty good, but instead what I would have done was do a... I would do the L and the B tip at the same time like this. And then put this in. And then while I'm inserting this center, I would have done the R tip like that. And then personally here, I would have inserted with a, a sledge. But inserting it like this is also fine. And then going on with what you did, you rotated and took this edge out like this. Then you just had a sledge. And then the tips and AUF. And I think that intuitive L4E solution was fine. Just make sure to do your tips during your V. Or make sure to plan your tips if you're going to do them after. So then you don't have a big pause like you did in this solve. So for your third solve, you did this V solution, and I think that solution was okay, um, but I think instead what you should have done is first do these two tips, and then do the solution, like that. Uh, but what I would have done for the V is, I would have done the same thing but from a different angle, so I would have held it like this, and then I would have done these two moves at the same time, and then these two at the same time, and then that. And then going on with what you did, you rotated and took out this flipped edge like this. So I think that's okay, but I think instead I would have just inserted this edge like this. And even though that would leave you with a flipped edge L4E case, I think that would still be better. Um, but going on with what you did, you rotated like this and just had L4E. So like this, uh, sorry it's out of focus. And then just... And here I think instead of rotating and doing the tips, I think you should just do them rotationless, so B tip like that, and then L tip like this. So, uh, for the fourth solve, you did your V like this. Uh, I think instead you should have just done it like that, uh, like this. Or like this. Because then you won't have to re-grip like that. Uh, 
So, and then you inserted this edge like this. Uh, that's okay, but here it would be better to insert it from the back because if you see this edge here, when you insert this green edge like this, this edge actually gets solved, and then you're just left with an easy last three edges case instead of a last four edges case. But going on with what you did, you did it like this. Uh, so that's your V. But I actually would have done a different V here. Uh, I would have done the red V, and I would have done it like this. And that actually solves this edge while you do it. Because I noticed this block, and I noticed that when you insert this, this block just gets solved here. Then I would rotate insert, and then I would just have this easy last three edges case. But going on with what you did, you just did uh, intuitive L4E, which is fine. So, like this. And yeah. Uh, for that solve, I think you doing the tip at the end was fine because uh, it was while you're doing the AUF, so that's actually pretty good. For this last solve, you did the green V like this. Uh, so this is okay. But you actually missed something really easy here. Uh, but if you did the green V, I think uh, you can see this block here. So if you insert it like that, the block will be messed up. But if you insert it f like this, then you'll actually get a two flip, which I think is better for you because you use intuitive L4E. Uh, so you did it like this. But you actually missed something really, really easy here. So what you could have done is, I noticed these two yellow blocks, and you can just make a two-move yellow V like this. And then you'd just be left with a uh, pretty easy L4E case, so like this. But going on with what you did, uh, you did intuitive L4E from here. Uh, so then, going on with what you did, I think you kind of messed up here because you took this flipped out, flipped edge out like this, and that actually made a block here, so you could have just done this and then a sledge. But instead, I think you didn't realize this block was here, uh, so then you did, like, intuitive L4E even though there was a block already, and then this intuitive L4E case... And then you had a pretty big pause before the tip, so I think you should have planned which like way the tip was going to go in inspection. So then right after the L4A, you could have just done the tip. But yeah, I think that was just an accident there with what you did with the L3 thing. So yeah, that's fine. And yeah, just a recap. Make sure to learn how to insert edges in different ways. So here you can insert it like this. Like this. Or like this. And they're all different, they're all useful in different scenarios, like if there's a block you have to preserve or something like that. And second thing is make sure to not save your tips for the end. And if you have like an R move, make sure to do the R tip with it. And yeah, that's basically it. Oh yeah, and make sure to learn the uh, flipped for, make sure to learn advanced L4E for all the flipped edge cases, because those are really, really helpful. And yeah, that's basically it.